Number 421. Cherim, the Blossom Pokemon. It is docile as a bud, but turns cheerful when it blooms. It folds back into a bud if sunlight wanes. I've seen both forms of Cherim. I like both of them. I do too. Which do you think you like better? Mm. I almost like the sad form better. The sad form has a certain appeal, but in terms of just the appearance and just knowing that it's, it's happier when it's in the sunlight form, I have to say the sunlight form. Mm. Although maybe it's not unhappy in this form. It's just, you know, resting. I'm sure it would get exhausted if it was sunny all the time. Mm. I mean, that's why it's got this form, to rest. Yeah, fair enough, I guess. So what's your word for this Pokemon? So my phrase for this Pokemon is seasonal depression. I feel like it is kind of sad when it's in the shady form. Or at least it's significantly less happy than it is in the sunshiny form. I will admit, it does look like it's like a cheerleader when it's in the sunny form. Mm. Whereas here, um, yeah, it's kind of closed the world out, let's say. It kind of looks like a sleepy eggplant. It does, it does look a lot like an eggplant. What was your word for this Pokemon? So my word for this Pokemon was leg eyes. So I've always thought that the sad form of Cherim was just the happy form, but wrapped up in like purple leaves. Mm -hmm. To me, that seemed to make sense. But having gone on the Bulbapedia page today, I can see I was wrong. Right down the bottom of the sad form, you can see a little line. And that, my friend, is an eyeball. The eyes are on the bottom of the sad form and on the top of the happy form. So they are two distinct body shapes, if that makes sense. It's like one of those reversible octopus toys. One side of it's happy and the other side of it's sad. Mm. In this form, it's just a walking head with very big hair, mm. whereas in the other form, it has like a full body. And I just find that really fascinating to consider the sheer turmoil that Cherim must go through as it changes from one form to the other. I just hope the weather doesn't change too often. <laughs> in this form, it kind of looks like it's a sleeping upside down bat with its wings wrapped around itself. Oh, I like that too. <laughs> I'm going to give this Pokemon three and a half out of five. You know what? You've read my mind. I give it three and a half out of five. Which brings us to a total of seven out of ten for Cherim. Next! Next.